Hi there, my name's Keith and welcome to the first and exciting series of videos about the wonderful work of the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. I'm joined by Lizzie, who's their Communications Director. So tell us, Lizzie, about the wonderful work that the Royal College does. So the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons is the regulatory body for the veterinary professions. That means we set, uphold and advance standards for veterinary surgeons and veterinary nurses and that covers education, ethics, professionalism. Our first role is to look at the individuals, so the veterinary surgeons and the veterinary nurses themselves, and to make sure they've got the right qualifications to be on our register and that they follow a code of professional conduct while they're working and they keep their skills and knowledge up to date. Then we also do look at the, the organisations in which they work, so the practices themselves. So therefore are all vets registered with you, are they all accredited? All veterinary surgeons need to legally be registered with us in order to practice and also veterinary nurses have a register too. Veterinary practices um, can join a voluntary scheme, uh, so around half the practices in the UK are on a voluntary scheme and once they've passed a voluntary inspection uh, they can call themselves RCVS accredited. If they wanted to check if the individual veterinary surgeon was registered with us they could look on our website and check to see if they're on the register. So if they want to check that a practice is part of our uh, RCVS accredited practice scheme they could go on to findavet.org.uk, put in either a name of a practice or a town where they live or even their postcode and find a list of veterinary practices near them that are in part of the scheme. So in essence if people do see the logo of the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons accreditation uh, with their veterinary surgeons they know that those rigorous tests have been applied to that particular surgery. Absolutely, only those practices that have been inspected by us and have passed that inspection are allowed to use that logo so it's an important thing to look for uh, for some peace of mind. Thank you very much. Well, there we go. If you want to find out more about the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons and, of course, their exciting appearance at the London Pet Show, keep watching. And don't forget, you can check the website as well, which is rcvs.org.uk.